Hey there, it's Lisa Seltover. Okay, so I'm jumping in to answer the question, how do you remember the course in Dog Agility? Um, someone's going to a first trial and they wanted to know how to remember the course. So first and foremost, what I do is I break the course up into sections. And usually those sections are between three to five obstacles. The sections are made up of they really depend on what my handling is going to be at that point and even sometimes it depends on the obstacles so for example maybe there are three jumps in a row and then i'm doing a front cross or a rear cross or i'm doing some sort of a handling maneuver so what i'll do is i'll think about those three obstacles where i need to be and then i know after that third obstacle um, or even as I'm approaching that third obstacle, I need to start signaling and start doing some sort of handling. And then I go into the next series of obstacles. So that's one way that I do it is I really do try to break things up into three to five obstacle segments. And sometimes it really depends on what's going on in the course. So for example, I was just training on a course that had a straight line three jumps straight line and then there was a real sharp right hand turn so i know it's two obstacles i need to then start doing something to cue before the third obstacle after the third obstacle i'm doing a handling maneuver and then i'm addressing obstacles four five and six okay so that's one way to do it on the standard course it tends to be a little bit easier sometimes because there's some big obstacles there that do help to break up that course. So you've got your A-frame, your dog walk, your teeter, and your table. So sometimes my breakup mentally as to how I'm going to handle those has to do with obstacles. And so maybe it's jump, jump, A-frame. And so I can remember that. Then maybe after the A-frame, I know that I have to do a front cross. And then it's jump, jump, table and I know my dog's in a down so that's two sets of three obstacles then maybe the next section is going to be um, you know tire tunnel dog walk so I really do try to work things into manageable sections and I usually do try to die, tie that in with my handling as well so that the two are meshing together. So it's obstacle, obstacle, obstacle. I need to do some sort of handling, obstacle, 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 some sort of handling. Um, sometimes it works really well that way. Sometimes it's handle, handle, handle. That's one section, then obstacle, obstacle, obstacle. So you're really gonna have to find the pattern that works for you. Oftentimes what I'll do is I'll get a course map, draw the dog's path, and where you start to see either loops or a change of direction, often that usually means that that's an introduction to another sequence. And again, a sequence is the grouping of obstacles, three to five obstacles, tops. I really try not to go more than that. Hope that helps. If you have any other suggestions, I'd love to hear what those are and let us know how your first trial goes. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.